Welcome to a demonstration of BioRad's QC Designer. Go to missioncontrol.qcnet.com. Bookmark this page so that it's convenient for future access. Enter your username and password. The use of QC Designer requires that you have already set up the instrument and tests in Risk Calculator. We recommend that you view our Risk Calculator video if you need more information. After Risk Calculator setup is complete, click on the QC Designer button. Since this is the first time with QC Designer, pick the step-by-step -step entry method. If you've previously been to QC Designer and have set up your instruments and tests, you would click on the Advanced Entry Method. At the end of Step by Step, you'll be automatically taken to the Advanced Entry page so that you can perform the appropriate calculations. In Step 1 of 6, pick the instrument you wish to set up. Click Next. In Step 2 of 6, pick the control product you wish to set up for the instrument selected in Step 1. In Step 3 of 6, enter the number of patient specimens per day that are examined on the selected instrument. The number of patient specimens will vary from day to day, so enter the approximate average number of patient specimens examined per day. In Step 4 of 6, enter your risk targets. The first entry is the maximum allowable enough. This represents the maximum tolerable number of unacceptable patient results that might be reported due to an out-of-control condition, but prior to the last accepted QC. We refer to this as the expected number of unreliable final results. QC strategies will be sought with predicted values for enough that are less than or equal to the maximum allowable enough. While the tendency might be to enter zero for the maximum allowable enough, this may not be a realistic design constraint. Consider starting with a value of 1. This enough allowable value will be set as the default value for all analytes on this instrument. The values may be adjusted later on an analyte by analyte basis. The second entry in step 4 is the maximum allowable enough which represents the maximum tolerable number of unacceptable patient results that might be reported between the last accepted QC and a QC rejection. We refer to this as the expected number of unreliable, correctable results. QC strategies will be sought with predicted values for ENUC that are less than or equal to the maximum allowable ENUC. While the tendency might be to input a very low number, Consider that this may not be a realistic design constraint. Rather, start with a value of about half the average number of specimens examined between QC events, which will allow more flexibility in finding a QC strategy solution. This ENUC allowable is set as a default for all the analytes on this instrument, but the value may be adjusted later for individual analytes. The third entry in Step 4 is the minimum allowable at FER, which represents the expected time in days between QC false rejections. QC strategies will be sought with predicted lengths of time between false rejections that are greater than or equal to the minimum allowable at FER. The tendency might be to input a very large number for at FER, but again, to allow flexibility in finding a QC strategy solution Consider starting with a value of at fur of, say, 30 days. Click Next. In Step 5 of 6, pick the QC rules you wish to consider. In this case, we'll pick all rules except for the 1-2-S and repeat 1-2-S rules. Click Next. In Step 6 of 6, select how you want to schedule QC events and the different possible frequencies of QC testing you're willing to consider. 
The choices for how to schedule QC events include number of QC events per day or number of patient specimens examined between QC events or analyte examinations, which is the number of patients tested for a given analyte between QC events. In this case, we'll pick number of QC events per day as the QC scheduling method and indicate we're willing to consider one, two, or three QC events per day. Click Next. In the confirmation screen, you verify that what you entered is correct. If adjustments need to be made, use the previous button to go to the desired screen to make the change. If you're satisfied, click Calculate. QC Designer will now look for all possible QC strategies that satisfy the performance requirements that have been specified. The Instrument Designer page is now displayed. The top half contains the inputs you entered in the six step-by-step -step pages. If necessary, these inputs can be adjusted in this page view for all the analytes on this instrument. This is also the page that would be displayed if the advanced entry had been selected earlier. The bottom part of the Instrument Designer page includes two tabs, the Work in Progress tab and the QC Plan tab. The Work in Progress tab displays results for all the analytes on this instrument. If there are multiple QC strategies that satisfy all the specified performance requirements for an analyte, then the best solution is displayed in this tab. Click on the analyte name to view other possible solutions. If the displayed solution is acceptable, check the box and click Approve to add it to the QC plan. If no QC strategy is found among the possibilities considered that satisfies all of the specified performance requirements, then a conflict exists between the specified performance requirements and the current QC strategies under consideration. These cases are highlighted in yellow. Please click on the analyte name to consider ways to resolve the conflict. The QC plan tab displays your accepted solutions. This is your permanent record of the action steps you've taken to control the risk of reporting unacceptable patient results. The columns are the same as the Work in Progress tab and include the analyte, the QC schedule that has been selected, the average number of patients tested for the analyte between QC events based on the recommended QC schedule, referred to as NB, the recommended QC rule, the false rejection rate, or FRR, as a percentage for the recommended QC rule, the expected time between false rejections, or et fur, in days based on the recommended QC schedule and QC rule, the predicted maximum enough for the recommended QC strategy, the predicted maximum enough for the recommended QC strategy, and the sigma metric. These values cannot be changed in the QC plan tab. To make any changes, you must go back to the Work in Progress tab, make the desired change, run a calculation, and then accept it back into the QC plan. When the QC plan is complete, you can print it by clicking on the printer icon in the header of the QC plan tab, and you'll see a summary of relevant information about each analyte in the QC plan. When the Work in Progress tab shows an analyte highlighted in yellow, this means that with the current specified performance requirements and QC strategy options, the QC Designer software could not find a solution. In these cases, you'll need to make adjustments to the inputs for each highlighted analyte in order for the software to find a solution. Let's get started in defining a solution by clicking on Click Here for more details for the analyte GGT. At the bottom of the Analyte Overview page is a tab called Review QC Strategies. The highlighted values in red are the performance specifications that are violated. If you regard any of the listed solutions as acceptable, you can select the desired row and click Accept. Clicking Accept will change the violated performance specifications to match the computed values for that particular analyte. If you deem none of the alternative solutions acceptable, you can click on the link at the bottom of the page to consider additional QC strategies.
Let's consider additional possible strategies for GGT. In this example, there are three options to help resolve the conflict. The first is to consider an alternative QC rule, which is suggested as 1-2-S. The second is to consider an alternative schedule of 25 QC events per day. The third is to consider an alternative allowable total error specification, TEA, which is recommended to be 14%. In this case, we'll select the alternative rule of 1-2-S. Click Accept. The Work in Progress tab now shows the accepted alternate QC strategy for GGT as a solution. Selecting the GGT row moves the solution into the QC plan. Click Approve. The QC plan now shows GGT included. We can review all of the QC strategies in the QC plan by clicking on the printer symbol. The QC plan summary lists relevant information about each analyte with a QC strategy that has been accepted into the QC plan.